In this exercise, we'll be learning how to create a customized search page. At the end of this exercise, we will have learned how to create a new search page using the search page template, as well as customizing this search page. These are the steps that we'll be taking in this exercise. First, we'll be creating a page using the search page template, then we'll configure the search page layout, and then add search widgets to the search page. After this exercise, there's an additional bonus exercise that I won't be going through, but that you can try for yourself. This will be configuring your search page widgets to allow for empty searches. You can create a document and use your search page to access it. And with this, let's get into our exercise. We're going to be creating a customized search page. And so I'm logged in into my admin user on my LifeRay site. And first we'll start by creating a page using the search page template. So we'll open up site administration from the top left. We'll click site builder and navigate to pages. From here, we'll delete our existing search page. So we'll click the options next to it and then we'll click delete. We'll click okay for the pop-up. Now we'll add in a new search page. So we'll click the add button in the top right. We'll click public page. And from here, we'll select from the global templates and we'll select the search template. For the name, we'll name this page search and then we'll click add. After this loads, we'll click save and then we'll hit the back button. Now we'll be configuring the search page layout. So we'll click the options next to the search page and we'll click configure in the drop down. We'll change the options for inherit changes from yes to no. Then we'll choose the one, two column 70, 30, which is opposite of what we currently have 30, 70. We'll scroll down and save the page and then click the back button. Now we'll be adding search widgets to the search page. So we'll click the options next to the search page and then we'll click view. And then from here, if you scroll around or move your Cursor around on the left side, you'll see a few facets on the left side. We'll be dragging all of these over to the right side column. Some of them might be a little harder to see. So we'll just drag them one by one over until there are no more facets. And that should be all of the facets here. Now we'll click the add icon on the top right and we'll scroll down under the widgets tab all the way to the search tab. We'll expand this and then we'll find a search results widget and we'll drag this over to the left column and then we'll find a similar results widget and then we'll drag this over under the search results on the left side column. So the right side column is still a little hard to see, so we can refresh the page. And we'll see that we have moved all of our facets over to the right side, and we have a search results as well as similar results on the left side of our template.